about Jesus Christ. Can you see what that could be like for all of us? Imagine being able to speak his name without fear. Yes, yes, and more than that, imagine being able to influence the Sanhedrin from within. No more hiding in the dark, no more whispering his name. What do you say, hmm? And you really think Caiaphas is going to give you all this? Yes. And what will he want in return? Well, we will negotiate, you and I. Not me. Not with a man that killed Jesus. Peter, this is our chance to take the church of Jesus forward. Oh, no, I have to keep you all safe. Away from him. We don't need the temple. Let me at least speak to him. I am no novice. I will press him. I hard. will not deny our Lord again! Hey, Jalawal. Lord praises to you, Hashem. Yahweh Shai, Hashem Rakakwadash. A much mercy. To you sincere brothers out there, all you believers, and uh, Shalom to all you false prophets out there, and you false brethren uh, that inspired our liberty that we have in your house, Shai. Uh, I want to um, go into uh, what the Lord said will happen, that certain of us will be raised up in the last day. That's why in John chapter 17, the Lord said he didn't pray. He he prayed for them. He didn't pray for the world. The them he, is that he's talking about is his chosen that was with him from the beginning, and um, the ones that were predestined. Uh, this word is for the election. So the elect are being raised up. Uh, the elect have already obtained it. The elect understand what they are. They have a strong belief in them. They have strong faith in them. That's why, like, when you were growing up, you know, you might you might have been a uh, a good drawer or artist, or you might uh, you might have certain qualities that you never knew what they were, and um, being able to draw that's an indicator of some type of talent you have to be a um, a creator, you know, to be able to to draw and paint pictures. And um, in this time, the Lord has given us the ability to be able to paint pictures in the, in the spirit. So so now we don't just think in, um, in pictures, we think in scriptures now. And more than anything, we think in the ways of Yahweh Shai, because we are one with the Lord. And that's what it means in this time to... To be with Yahweh Shai, I and you and you and, and you and me. So what we must um, understand is that our raising up in this time is not a raising up in this dying world. It's a raising up in the spirit to um, for the new world. Uh, this world cannot um, hold um, and they and it will not accept the power of Yahweh Shai. So a lot of guys think them being raised up in this time, they think they should be famous. But it's actually the opposite of that. It's you being raised up in the spirit. And so that's why uh, so many guys are misunderstood about uh, what this is all about. And the thing about the new covenant, the new covenant is something that men are being raised, men and women are being raised in the spirit. So they're finding favor, favor with Yahweh Shai. That is the grace, not to be raised up in this world. So to be raised up in this world, you know, that would go against everything that the Lord told you to do uh, in the gospel. He told you to take the load and that would go against the fruits of the spirit if you were exalted in this world, which a lot of guys are, don't have the fruits of the spirit. Because like I said earlier, 
um, what you have to understand about the fruits of the spirit is one of the fruits of the spirit is meekness and lowness. So a lot of guys are not meek and lowly. Guys are being double honored and exalted. That means that they're not in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. So therefore, that's why they're not in the covenant and they're waiting. And they, they're, you know, it's heavy because um, the truth of it is there is no grace for you false prophets or this world. The four winds of destruction and revelations are being held back until the ones of the Lord are sealed in their mind. Now, what does it mean to be sealed in their mind? I mean, you're sealed uh, from the destruction. Let me read this. Let me read that real quick. I have to finish the parts on revelations. I just got a, uh, other lessons I want to put in this week. And then we get to revelations because revelations when you go into Revelation 16, 17, 18, 16 goes into these plagues. 17 is America. 18, it goes into the destruction of America. Uh, 19, it goes into hallelujah. You know, they're glad because America's destroyed. And these camps, they teach you so much about uh, Revelation 17, 18, the destruction, the destruction, the destruction. But they're not really telling you the solution. Their solution is to come to their camp and to their doctrine, which will have you uh, naked. Just like a lot of these guys in these camps, they're naked and they're exalted. They're, they, they are not in a meek spirit. They are not humble. Um, I want to go over a couple of things real quick. Because when the Lord said he's going to raise you up, he's not going to raise you up to be raised up in this world and to be honored in this world. That's why, guys, they get this mixed up. You're going to be raised up in the spirit. Now, when you're raised up in the spirit. It don't have nothing to do with this world. Let me read. Uh, let me read something. man. I got a couple of things I want to read real quick. So everybody's not being raised up. Um, in this time. I want to go right to this. Because when you're sealed, you're sealed from destruction. And so that also goes into. The second death having no power over you or these serpents having no power over you it's, it's self-explanatory. It's just it's just that you have to believe that. And, and, and if you really don't believe that, that's on you, really. You know, our job is to make it clear, make you understand. The Lord told us that, you know, once we're once we're sealed and once we have the Lord in our heart, you know, the Lord is with us. I and you and you and me. You know, and no show and no torment shall touch you. And, and you got to believe these things that the Lord said. You know, nobody can make you believe that you have to believe that. And, you know, that's what I believe. And that's what I know. And all you believers, you should believe that because the words of the Lord, they're faithful and they're true. Now, Revelation 7 and 3, I just want to read this real quick and go into this world sealed. Revelation 7 and 3, it says, Hurt not the earth, neither the seed nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. Now, a lot of guys don't see power, right? Because they're not sealed in their mind. The Lord hasn't sealed them, so they don't see the power. Guys are still a part of this world unless they repent. But if you see the power and you're one with your power, and you have changed your mind, you are sealed in the mind. That means you're sealed uh, from the destruction because there is going to be a lot of plagues. The scriptures talk about a lot of plagues. And a lot of guys, when you go to the book of Revelation, they're not going to repent. These guys in these camps, they're not going to repent. So that's why they're not pushing repentance. They're telling you grace. There is no grace for these guys. It's just 
they're so demonic that they this is their world. It's like the it's like it's like Yahweh Shai when he when he when when, when um when them demons went into those pigs. These guys are in the spirit of those demons that went into those pigs. And them, and when them demons went into them pigs, they fucking jumped off the cliff, bro. They they didn't want to be like living like that. These guys want to live here because if 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 guys really wanted to get out of here, they'll be pushing repentance unto the new covenant. Not no fucking grace to enter in. So guys are totally demonic in these last days, and they're not of the election. They're not the elect. They are the rejects. That's what they are. <laughs> they are the false prophets. They are part of the dragon in Revelations. This is Revelations that were sealed in uh, Revelation 7 and 3. I just want to read this. Um, I want to go into this real quick. Because uh, when you go into this, um, yeah, I was shy. Um, when you understand. That word seal. You gotta understand what that word seal means in Revelations. So when you're sealed, that means you're, you know, like if you get a Ziploc bag and you seal it up, you know, then there's something in there. Nothing's coming in, nothing's going out of it. <laughs> so you gotta understand the sealing of the elect being written in their minds. <laughs> Now the wicked, they can't. Their Yahweh Shai can't be written in them because Yahweh Shai can't enter into them because they're of this world. They, they, they don't. The fruits of the spirit is 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 love, joy, and, and keeping the low meekness. Meekness is is keeping the low. That's why the Lord said in Matthew, uh, I think he's eleven, that I am meek and I am lowly, and his yoke is light, pretty much. So Yahweh Shai yoke, it is light. But the only way to be in Yahweh Shai, you have to just keep the low and 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 just just be meek, not to exalt yourself. See, a lot of guys they confuse with exalting themselves as them being raised up. And it don't work like that. When the Lord's talking about you being raised up, you, your spirit is gonna be raised up so you can beat this world. So you can overcome this world in the spirit because these guys are of the world. They're not going to overcome this world because they are of the world. You see what I'm saying? But you not being of the world, you're going to overcome the world because you're being raised in the spirit. So guys already have a consolation because they're being raised with the world. Your whole thing is to keep the meek and the lowly. That is part of the fruits of the spirit to, to keep the meekness and the lowly. Now that word seal real quick. Strong's G 4972. Sfragizo. Sfragizo. It says to set a seal upon Mark with a seal to, to seal from security from Satan. It says since things sealed up are concealed as contents of a letter to hide to keep in silence to keep secret to keep secret to hide uh in psalms it talks about the hidden ones so when you're sealed you're going to be hidden you're not going to always want it to be seen so this is another way to see how if guys are of the lord or if they're of the world because when you're sealed the lord's going to He's going to hide you. He's not going to have you out there like that. He's not going to have you famous and always, you always got to be seen. Instead of just, you know, keeping the low, 
like a nobody. Everybody wants to be somebody, man. So they have to, you have to see them because, because they're a part of this world. So they have to let you see them. You know, they have to be noticed, man. The, the, the spirit that guys are in, it, it is not compatible uh, with the scriptures. Even guys that say they're teaching the new covenant, man, they're not exhorting the spirit of the Lord. They're, they have, they have their own way of the world. And it's like, you try to correct guys and tell them like, Hey, look, when the Lord says he's going to raise you up, it, that don't mean you're going to be famous and honored. Guys think that you're going to be honored in this world. No, it's not. You're being raised up so you could be sealed in the mind, so you could be saved from the destruction, so you could be sealed and hidden away out of this world. That's why the Lord said he's not of this world. Guys are of this world. They are earthly. So they think being raised up or they think uh, they think this truth is about exalting themselves. It's not, man. It's 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 the opposite. It's about being raised up in the spirit, in the inside, where nobody sees. And repenting. There's not a repentant bone in these guys' bodies. So if if you're not repenting to the new covenant, there's no grace that the Lord has for your ass. You don't have any grace, and that's false doctrine. I can see if guys were teaching repentance, then there's grace. But there's no grace if you're not repenting unto the new covenant. These guys are demons of this world. Their whole thing is to keep this world. So let me go into this world word seal. The word seal, it says to set a seal upon a mark with a seal for security from Satan. Since things are sealed up, are concealed, the contents of a letter to hide, to keep in silence, to keep secret in order to mark a person or thing, to set a mark upon by the express or seal or stamp. Angels are said to be sealed by God. So the elect are sealed away, hidden, you know, not out there like that. It says in order to prove, confirm or a test or thing to confirm, authenticate, place beyond doubt of a written document to prove one's testimony to a person that he is what he professes to be. So the ones that are sealed, they're proven by the Lord and there are the Lord's, they're hidden. Uh, the scripture tell you, let me get this real quick. I, I, want, I don't wanna go over this because I'm not gonna go through Revelation tonight, but I just wanted to go back to Revelation 7 because the ones that are sealed, they are hidden out of this world. And guys don't understand you being raised up don't mean you're going to be raised up in the world. That's that's what I'm getting at. Guys got it backwards because basically they're of the world. Now this word hidden. Proverbs 28 and 12. When a righteous man do rejoice, there is great glory. But when the wicked rise, a man is hidden. Right. So this world is oversaturated with wickedness. So the righteous are hidden. They're not in the world like that, bro. They're not out there to be seen all the fucking time. Uh, all you guys that like to be seen in these fucking cameras and, you know, that camera thing in these groups, you got to look at everything that these that these groups have done. They're basically against the way of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai wasn't in that spirit of being um, seen all fucking day. So, guys, don't understand that. Psalms 83 and 3, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against the hidden ones. The hidden ones are sealed of God. Uh, play this. I like this clip this guy talks about because he said, uh, you know, um, you know, the ones that's really doing it, they don't want to be seen like that, you know, and just like the elites of this world. And, you know, I, I don't like to really harp on these guys or nothing like that, but 
the ones that's really running everything, they're not out there like dancing monkeys, putting their face in their fist in the camera. A lot of you guys, man, are still in that fucking camp spirit, bro. It's just, it's crazy, man. It is fucking crazy. That fist spirit in the camera, man, with your fucking face, man. It is heavy. So the things of the Lord, they're, they're hidden. They're not, they're not for you to be, um, out there to be seen like that, bro. Guys that want to be seen, that means they want attention and they want to put themselves in something. So guys are not really raised up. If you're really raised up, then that means you're being hidden. You're being, uh, concealed. From Satan, the scripture, just, when that word sealed, it goes into being hidden from Satan, bro. That's why, that's why it's important for you brothers to understand that once you're sealed and the Lord is written in your mind, you're, you're sealed from Satan, bro. You're passed over. You know, all these fucking camps, all they do is push death. And death and the mark of the beast. Talking about the mark of the beast is the most important prophecy. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> that shows you how much these guys are out of their mind, bro. And you can't believe anything these guys are saying. So they push death and carnal shit and E, E, and all this bullshit because they're of the world, man. They don't have no fucking hope. At this time, none of these guys in these groups are the, are the election. You have to come out of these groups to be eligible to be of the elect. Ain't no elect in these groups like that. Let me say this. You have to come out of these groups to be eligible to be of the elect. So if the Lord is not pulling you out of these dumbass groups and the world, because they're part of the world now. They're part of the world. So if the Lord is not pulling you out of these groups, you're of the world, man. You're, you're exalted in this world. So guys, they misuse the scriptures and they make you think that being double honored and being uh, having numbers in this world or being exalted in this world, they make you think that that's of the Lord. I'm pretty sure T.D. Jakes thinks he's of the Lord. Joe Osteen thinks he's of the Lord. They get a lot of numbers too. Sakari thinks he's of the Lord too. All you fucking jackasses in these last days, man. So that's why I'm trying to explain to you, brothers. When the Lord seals you, let me read that again, man. That means that you're being you're being sealed for security from Satan. Now, going back to that word seal, to set a seal upon, mark with a seal, to seal for security from Satan. Since things sealed up are concealed as the contents of a letter, too high to keep in silence. To keep secret. You see that? Angel said to be sealed by God, bro. So I read I went, oh, a couple weeks ago. I went into Job. How the Lord has power over jo uh, over uh, over the angels. And if you're of, of God and the Lord has you. The, 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 the Satan's angels which works for the Lord. They can do nothing to you. That's why, really, I don't push death. I don't, man. I, I don't. I don't push death at all. I, I push how people are going to make it that really believe. Now, like, if you don't really believe, then you're not really gonna make it. The scripture just told you when you're sealed, you're secure from Satan. So that is the mark in these days that you need to worry about. Not no fucking mark of the beast. Are you carnal motherfuckers? Because guys are not uh, sealed in their mind. So being sealed is being secured from Satan. Being hid. Uh, Ecclesiastes 11 and 4 says, Boast not of thy clothing and thy raiment, and exalt not thyself in the day of honor. You're not supposed to exalt yourself. You being, when the Lord said he will raise you up in the last day, he didn't say he would make you exalted. He didn't say he'd make you great. He didn't say he'd make you famous. He said, I will raise you up. That means your spirit will be raised up. So therefore you could be sealed and the Lord can be written in your mind. 
That is how the elect is sealed. When Yahweh Shai is in their mind, that means Yahweh Shai is on their heart, written on your heart, not written on stone. So guys don't teach about the heart of flesh. They don't teach about uh, repenting unto the new covenant. So you know that these guys are of the world. And they don't have anything to do with salvation. Matter of fact, they're against salvation because they're unbelieving. And they're against us. But the Lord tells you once you're sealed in your mind, then you're secure from Satan. Ecclesiastes 11 and 4, boast not of the clothing of thy raiment, as all not thyself in the day of honor. For the works of the Lord are wonderful, and his works among men are hidden. You see that? So the scripture is telling you in Isaiah, man should be precious, then find gold. And so if you're precious, then find gold, right? And um, 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 uh, it tells you too, a man should be a hiding place from the winds. Let me, let me grab that real quick. You have to put these scriptures in perspective and have some faith in these times, man. And the scriptures say you should, a man should be a hiding place from the wind. Yeah, all these camps, all they do is push death and carnal, carnal shit all day in E. A lukewarm vibration, that's what they push. And then they tell you, you can't be with the Lord right now. You have, you got to be under grace to enter in. All you jackasses, man, in these camps, bro. And once the few elect are sealed, um, and then that's it, man. That's it, man. That is it. Yeah, it is heavy in these times, and, and only the elect are going to have that, that faith like that. Uh, the rest of you guys, you're teaching for the world, man. Because I, I can tell you this, the ones of us brothers that really see and the sisters that really see, they're not paying attention to you fucking worldly camps of the world. All right, you, you just... What you guys are doing is just like, it's despicable, man. It's despicable. It's, it's, it's without faith. And you putting the Lord off, talking about you have grace putting the Lord off. You can't put the Lord off and expect to have some grace, man. Man, these guys, bro. It is heavy. Isaiah 32 and 2. And a man should be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as the rivers of water in a dry place. As the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So a man shall be as a hiding place. Why? Because the Lord's going to be with us. Why? Because the angels is with us. Why? Because we have the Lord's treasure. We have the Lord in our heart. That's being raised up in the last day. And that's not for everybody to see. That's not for everybody to understand. So a lot of guys, they don't understand um, what we're doing. They don't understand the, the totality of it. We've already died already, man. We already died. Like Leonidas said, this is where we hold them and this is where they die, bro. So when the servants of our power are sealed in their mind, that gives them power over the beast. That gives them power over the mark. That gives them power over all this shit. You know? I'm going I'm to just say this too, man. You know, by us teaching this word, who knows what these devils have already tried. Who knows what they've tried. <laughs>
Who who knows what? <laughs> you know, we got so many threats in the beginning. And that's what guys do. They start off with threats. But you, you can't let that shit um, move you. You got to know your powers with you. What did Alicia tell um, his servant? He said, there be many more with us than it is with them. You got to believe that. So the Lord said he will raise us up in the last day. That don't mean he's going to raise us up when we have to put our face in the camera and be seen and be honored in this world. It, it don't mean that, bro. So if it meant that, why did he say, take the Lord's seat when thou biddest to a wedding? Take the Lord's seat. Why did he say that? So the men of the Lord is, is, is as a hiding place from the wind in these times. We're very valuable. Whereas gold, what was that in Isaiah? A man should be precious as, as gold. Isaiah 13 and 12, I will make a man more precious than gold, even a man than the golden wedge of offer. Right, so if you have the Lord's secret, you're more precious than gold. So within the Lord's secret, the key to those secrets is having faith and love. So you have to believe. Let me read this real quick, Ezekiel 9 and 4. Rev the book of Revelations explains to you that um, you have power over the beast and the serpent was cast out. Why? Because the Lord gave you power over that serpent to cast his ass out. You have power to cast out serpents by exposing their ass. That's what's happening. Now, you have to believe in that. Now, if you don't believe in it, I don't know what, you know, I don't know what to do for. There ain't nothing we can do if you really don't believe that. You have to believe you have that. We've died already, bro. We're, we're warriors in this thing. But we have to understand what the Lord told us in this time. The scripture in Ezekiel 9 and 4 tells you slay otherly old and young, but don't come close to them that actually have that mark. And is the, that is the mark. That mark is more important than the mark of the beast. You guys are fucking carnal, man. You're very carnal. So that's why we have the advantage of these guys, because they're carnal. They don't understand the spirit. They don't they don't believe in the angels. They don't believe in the Lord and his covenant. All right. I'm going to put it out there. Guys don't believe in this like that because they don't have a belief. That's why the Lord said because of their unbelief, he was unable to do miracles for their ass because they didn't believe. And so that's what we're dealing with. We're dealing with a bunch of motherfuckers because they don't have no fucking belief. Mark 6 and 6. And he marveled because of their unbelief. So Yahweh Shai you were like, damn, you guys don't even believe. That's and especially now, guys have been dumbed down to not even really believe no more. Nobody has a imagination or none of that shit. They all been desensitized. Shh. It's heavy, man. And so now when you read Romans 3 and 3, uh Romans 3 and 3, for what if some didn't believe? Shut their unbelief, make the faith of God without effect. Now you understand. That because these guys believe they're not in the covenant and because, you know, certain guys, they don't believe in the spiritual power of the angels or this, that, and that. Just because they don't believe in the unseen things, do, do, is they going to have an effect on anything? Hell no, they're not. This is the advantage we have by believing, bro. <laughs> Only thing guys believe in is them being seen. And their numbers and their elders in this world and, and the carnal shit, the mark of the beast. 
For you to say the mark of the beast is the most important prophecy, man, you are the most, you're a fucking reprobate. So that means that you don't understand that guys think it's just taking the mark. It's not, man. I've broken that shit down. You don't need to take a mark to worship the image. You guys are worshiping the image. You're in these fucking camps where they're telling you you can't be with the Lord. You got to be on the grace first. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> You need the Lord to come back and then you agree with him when he comes back. The Lord said you got to fucking obey him more in his absence. Man, it, it is fucking heavy, bro. Romans 11 and 20. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. <sighs> Romans 11 and 20. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off. And thou standest by faith be not high-minded but fear right so if you're on a high seat if you're great here you don't have no belief uh the lord said he's uh meek and lowly uh, matthew 11 and uh 29 it says take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest for your souls right so if you're not lowly right now you you don't have any rest for your soul you don't so you don't have no belief you're high-minded you're the world bro the and guys have their constellation and they understand they won't have their constellation if the elect are sealed that's why them demons was uh you come to torture us before our time because they understand they have time to be of the world. Now they understand their time is being shortened. So when the Lord said he'll raise you up in the last day, you don't have nothing to do um, with um, being um, exalted of this world. Nothing to do with that. Nothing. Nothing. So the Lord said you have power over the second death. That means you have power over the mark of the beast. Nothing is going to go how the wicked wants it to go. The, the wicked want to kill the man, the true man of the Lord. It's, that's not going to go what how they want it to go. Nothing's going to go how the wicked wants it to go. They're not one with power. They're against the power. Uh, John 6 and 39, and this is the Father's will which have sent me, that all which have given me, I should lose nothing. Let me read that again. That of all which he have given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again in the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believeth on him may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up in the last day. So if you're not in the covenant right now, you're not being raised up. You're not being raised up. That means you don't see the sun. You have to be in the covenant with the Lord, bro. So, you know, I don't understand... Um, guys think being raised up is being popular in this world but what they don't understand it is all about the hidden ones that are sealed once you're sealed and written in your foreheads and the lord is written on your heart then you're you're secure from satan bro uh, matter of fact let me read one more i'm gonna get out of here i don't i don't want to be all day teaching this i didn't even want to go this long i didn't man i wanted to just keep it short man because um when the scriptures say um he'll keep you in the hour of temptation uh when the scriptures say that he'll be with you until the end of the world you gotta you gotta believe these things Uh, let me grab this. Matthew 12 and 34. O generation of vipers, how can you being evil speak good, speak good things? Right, they can't. These can't they can't really speak nothing good. 
They can't tell you to repent unto the new covenant. They can't do that. It says, for out of the abundance of their heart, their mouth speaketh. That's right. Right, the Lord said, if, if you're highly esteemed, right, then you're an abomination. So the ones that's being raised up in this last day, it don't have anything to do uh, with this world like that. It don't. Right, so the Rome, uh, Romans 2 and 29, the scriptures say, but they are Jews hourly and we are Jews inwardly. And that goes right with us being raised up. We're going to be raised up inwardly, not outwardly. Guys that are esteeming themselves outwardly, they don't have the spirit inwardly. This is their world. Our world is to come. So we have those things for the new world inwardly. And that's why the Lord has hidden us away. Not to be exalted of this world, but to pull a few men out of the fire. Romans 10 and 10, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. Right? These guys don't have the heart to believe in this. Because if you're against us, that means you really don't believe and you don't have the heart, bro. That's, that's all it is. That's all it is. It says, and with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. <sighs> Romans 6 and 18, for they are such serve not our power, Lord Yahweh Shai. And you can see all these guys that's not really serving the Lord, man. You could really see that shit. And I just advise, you know, your brothers and your sisters that really believe, just stay away from crowds and and, and um, big ass um, congregations and, and big ass broad paths and broad gates. You have to stay out of that shit. Stay away from that shit. And guys always have to be seen in the camera. Guys cannot do one work without you seeing them, bro. It's heavy. It is heavy. And guys are only doing this because they're exalted and they're famous with the world. Romans 6 and 18. 16 and 18. For they are such serve not our Lord Yahweh Shai, but their own belly, and by good works and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Right, these guys speak speak all smooth, but we see where you guys' hearts are. And so by guys are telling you you're under grace and not telling you to repent so you can get the grace. <clears throat> They're telling you you're under grace before you repent. It's crazy. It is fucking crazy. So salvation is prepared for us to actually love the Lord. The scriptures say no eyes have seen what the Lord has for those that really love him. So for guys that don't really love the Lord or really believe, there is no miracles or the Lord ain't really with you like that because you don't believe. And, and these guys were teaching against us and the Lord in these last days. Second Corinthians uh, 1 and 22, who have also sealed us and given us the earnest of the spirit in our hearts, man. You see there, that's where, that's where it is. And then your heart is, um, it is, it is, it is hidden. You can't see your heart. You can't see inside your mind. That's why you lay your treasures up in, in the heavens. You lay your treasures up in the heavens where nobody can steal that. Second Corinthians 3 and 15, but even unto this day when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart, right? These guys, like I'd say uh, yesterday, um, they, their cup is halfway full. They're not all the way there. Yeah, they have knowledge of the scriptures. But the whole they're missing a whole another side to this whole thing. And, and that whole other side that we have is that's only for a few. 
And so just like Mrs. Smith, the love and the belief and the faith and the discernment that we have, if you was to put that in their ass, they will fucking blow up because they don't have nothing but hate in them because they're not teaching this truth for salvation or to free our people or for the elect to be sealed. They're teaching this because they're of the world. They're using it to be exalted. Uh, 2 Corinthians 4 and 6, For God have commanded the light to shine out of darkness and have shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of the power in the face of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So everything is about the the heart the the inward parts and that's what the lord raised up in these days he raised our hearts up he raised our mind not you to be exalted here you're supposed to keep the lowly when you're exalted then you're not you're not in the fruits of the spirit you're not when you're double honored you're not in the fruits of the spirit remember the lord did not get any honors that means a lot, man. Yeah, guys are blind in these last days. So, um, we're being raised in the spirit, not with the world. So the things that we can understand in the spirit, it is not for the world. So you have to understand that the Lord told us that, um, we have the, the, the power over the serpents that's very important that means something in this time the the ones that was with him in the first resurrection we went through that death period we had to die like the lord did now in this time in the second in this in this second death that's that's coming upon the earth with fire we have power over there now hey with that a hey, shalom